Okay, my starter, I replenished it. It sat out all night. It rolls just fine. I come in at night and even checked on it to make sure it was doing okay. It fell back down, but I'm going to put it in the refrigerator. My recipe calls for one cup of the starter, which I have in my bowl, separated for my cinnamon rolls that I'm going to be making this morning. I have this sitting out all night because I took the starter out the night before. That's how you really should do it and let it sit on the cabinet until it comes to room temperature. Okay, and to this, now this, I put the two cups of flour in with my starter, okay? It also calls for a half a cup of buttermilk or sour milk. Now, I never buy buttermilk because I really don't use it and I'm not spending that kind of money so what I did is to a half a cup of milk, I added a tablespoon of vinegar. And I let it sit for about 10, 15 minutes. Okay, and that's it. It said buttermilk or sour milk. So I'm using what they call sour milk. Because like I said, it's too expensive. Okay, and we want to mix this up. And I'm going to mix this up because you're just going to knead it a little bit. You add nothing else to this. Okay, it says after this that you pour it out or dump it out on a well-floured surface. And what you're going to do, it says, is you're just going to knead it 15 times. <laughs> this is, the recipe I got this from came from a very old cookbook. Uh, probably 40 50 years old and I don't know uh, and then you're supposed to roll it out into a rectangle the reason I like this particular recipe is I told myself you don't need yeast cinnamon rolls usually call for yeast okay let me put my camera down let me finish kneading this and then rolling it out and I'll show you what's next. Okay, this is what it looks like. As you can see, I just rolled it out. And what it says to do is to put rub, I don't rub, brush, brush, I would say, some melted butter on top. If you've ever made this before, you probably already know this part. Uh, I'm just... Uh, this is one of the things that I did get from the Dollar Tree that I'm gonna say I do like. There's a couple of things I have bought in there uh, that I I definitely like. Um, show you this. This is another thing. It's a flower scooper. I liked it. Now I don't know if it costs less at Walmart or some other place but I don't really go to Walmart that often and Walmart is very far from me so the Dollar Tree is much closer I actually go to the Dollar Tree for more things than I do Walmart because I just not, I don't really grocery shop at Walmart I might pick up cat food there sometimes but even my cat food I prefer to get a tractor supply but I do get my kitty litter from Walmart. Here, I think this is an enormous amount of sugar. And I'm probably not going to use it all. Because I think it's too much. But it calls for a half a cup of sugar with two teaspoons of um, cinnamon. Now, I have a jar. I'm trying to get my spoon out here because I'm going to sprinkle. I have a jar that I put extra cinnamon into. And I'm going to try to sprinkle this over the top of this like this. And, you know, when you get this done, you just kind of roll it up. Jelly roll, I guess, style they call it. I'm not sure what it's called. Looks like a giant pizza to me. And then you're supposed to slice it. No. Okay, let me get this done here and we'll come back. Now, I did not use all the sugar and cinnamon. So, 
I'm going to put that in a container and these edges here, I'm just gonna lightly pinch them together. And I roll this on this side. This end over here, I'm gonna push it in a little bit because otherwise it's not gonna work well. That pan right there, I have it buttered. I used uh, this butter right here that was in this cup. This is three tablespoons. No, it said four tablespoons of butter. It also tells you you can brush some of the butter on the top. I brushed the bottom of this with this. We're going to slice this. It says 12 portions. Hmm, good luck. One, two. I don't know. <laughs> it's been a long time since I made cinnamon rolls. Three, four, five. It's been a very long time. This ain't gonna make no 12. Seven, eight, ten. I'm too short. Two are short, two. I don't really care, okay? Because if you take, I mean, this one right here is fairly big, okay? But this, this is, this is a small little, you know. So I don't see how this can make 12. I really don't. But okay, let me get these lined in my pan. Okay, I switched out pants because I feel the other one was too big for this. Um, I think this is perfect for my family. Um. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't say to wait. It doesn't say let them rise. It doesn't say anything. It says bake at 450 for 20 or 25 minutes. And so that's what we're going to do next, okay? And we'll come back when they're ready. And then, of course, you put a white icing over the top, which I just usually use some white powdered sugar with a little bit of milk. That's my icing. Okay, here they are. I took them out of the oven. They look great. They look fine. No problems. Now I'm getting ready to make my icing over here. This is nothing more than powdered sugar. I used three spoons, big spoons of this. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of milk in here and stir it around. This is my icing. You may make yours different. I don't know. Some people put water. Some people put butter. If you have no milk, use water. If you have, you want a richer taste and you've got the butter and you want to use butter, use butter. I'm hoping that these turn out really good. I'm hoping. Because this will give me some good excuse to use that starter and hold on to it and not have to chuck it okay let me get this started okay this is what I'm going to do here I am going to just drizzle over the top of this I don't like a whole lot of sugar my nutter butter does oh he it, when I make this, he looks for the one that has the most icing on it. Because that's the one he will pick. Me, I look for the one that has the least. You see? And this is nothing more than powdered sugar and milk mixed together. And that's it. You can put as much, spread it the way you want. I mean, some people like to take a knife and just spread it all over, you know, a spoon, whatever. But, you know, I like the dramatic drizzle. <laughs> you know. Right there. Simple. There we go. Now, you may want more sugar on yours. Feel free. I did a couple towards the back here that have quite a bit of icing for my nutter butter. But I don't like that much sugar. 
I uh, try to limit myself on sugar simply because my joints bother me. But there we go. Now, we're going to try them. Okay. I took a very small, the smallest cinnamon roll I could find. And I'm breaking off a piece here. I didn't want to take a big one because I'm not sure I'm going to like this. And I'm just going to take a small piece here so I can taste this to see if I like it and to give you my opinion. I like watching videos where people are honest. If they don't like something or if they think it tastes bad, they, they will admit to it. They'll go, oh no, this is gross. I would never do this again. And so it gives you an idea. I've, I've tried recipes of people that, oh, they would praise how wonderful it tasted. And it was disgusting. I said, <laughs> either they have horrible taste or they were not very honest about the real taste of it. But here we go. Mmm. Oh, wow. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. I will definitely do this a hundred times again. This is awesome. Mm hmm This is really, oh, this is so good. Mm hmm Yep. I definitely, let me have a sip of coffee here. I definitely, oh, you probably hear me smacking and everything, but, mm-hmm, this is delicious, and I definitely, like I said, I will be doing this again. Well, thanks for joining me, and thank you if you stayed to the end. It was well worth it. God bless you guys, and have a blessed day.